Just me and the mosquitoes. All of this small town looks like post-apocalyptic war. What do you think about it? Nice, isn't it? Freedom! Oof. This road on right and left side, there are many many swamps like this and they are endless and I think that they are habitat for many many small animals, many birds, also beavers. It's, it's very beautiful actually here, very beautiful, very green. Only swamps, it's very flat. Today we're gonna gain one hour back, which is mean we will be there very early, and we'll have enough time to relax. What kind of wonderful stone! Готов? Давай, поехали. All right. but at least it's, it's not that slippery of course if you ride fast it will be slippery but on this speed it's all right it looks like it might be even sunny over there in Usnera who knows beautiful colors huh this brown purplish green might be thinking that uh, just because now I'm riding on the same road I'm going to be bored but not at all because riding in this direction is show you completely different scenes than uh, going on the other direction that's like a like a new place to me listen how quiet everything here is no wind nothing Nothing. Just me. Just me destroying this silence. Just 
part of the old bridge left over there and the foundations just me and the mosquitoes Fifty kilometers more. Let me tell you what I do all the time. I always try to find the best trajectory for the moment. The one with less potholes or not so muddy or a little bit cleaner than the rest where the rocks are not so so big so to minimize the stress to the suspension to minimize the risk to slide or whatever you want to name it and this is the game that I play all the time because the moment it's only me on the road I can afford to move left and right whatever it's necessary to go just to make it easy for me uh, here I cannot really uh, calculate a proper trajectory anyway this is the situation. The last time when I was entering Usnera last week from the west it was 10 o'clock in the evening and it was raining. Now I entered it from the east, it is 3 o'clock in the evening and it is dry. And if I move the clock one hour back it's going to be 2 o'clock in the evening. Yeah, today was perfect. And the famous petrol station. Let's use it again. Ustnera. This small town looks like post-apocalyptic war. <laughs> We're looking for guest house that was recommended to me from uh, one rider in Magadan. Let's see what we're gonna find. the guest house but there are no free places so you have we have to go to the hotel that we've been last time here we go the same same hotel, the same bed, everything is the same. I'm not gonna show you Pavel's properties, I respect his privacy. <laughs> uh, here is the mess that I created and of course the dust. The dust is everywhere. All of our clothes, everything is dust. But it is what it is. I just went out and uh, walk around the town here and make some pictures. I didn't took the camera with me because it will be too weird to go around the town like a CNN a reporter. In this small town, people are not used to 
people like me it will be very weird that's why i just took the camera make some shots i'm gonna show it to you now and we'll go to sleep and see you tomorrow morning 5:45 almost ready <laughs> waiting for Pavel anyway the plan today is to go from Usnera to Handiga 600 kilometers and nothing between here in Kubeme there is only one cafe Cuba cafe where we can eat something and also petrol station to fill our tanks which is mean that I'm not gonna need the petrol uh, can and I hope we'll be able to get there tonight it is uh, how many degrees at the moment let me see six degrees at the moment but later it's going to be 15 maybe 18 uh, it is dry and not so cold good man I hate to wait but anyway I promise to Paul that I'm gonna uh, do it with him so I already been on this road but the last part where the pass is was raining and I filmed it a little bit but the audio was not good so I'm gonna film it again actually I need to go all of these mountains river Indigarka I remember a week ago when I was coming down on this road, direction Usnera All of this was rain and mud and it was such a slippery and dangerous conditions Now it's nothing, you see how big is the difference uh, When it's rain and when that's not That's why I said it could be very easy to go to Mar Magadan But also could be very very difficult and even dangerous Spectacular view, spectacular Early morning colors Very nice Now when I start climbing it became 3 degrees And exactly here was this bloody muddy mess that I <coughs> have experienced on the way down Completely different story now This is the last part of the climbing And over there on the top I'm gonna stop to show you the view As I did it last time without the audio Of course now the sun is going to be in the opposite direction but it is what it is and I hope it will be also nice from the other side As I said yesterday, you cannot be bored on uh, such a road It's like uh, to go and see Transfagarashan or Transalpina from north to south or from south to north You will <laughs> you'll enjoy both sides, yeah? The same story here well, Look at this As I told you before, every day here you have some kind of reward and this is today's reward today's reward is this pass Let me find a, a nice place to stop for a while Let's see where will be the highest point that I can climb Maybe here Somewhere this is the top of the pass Okay, let's go there
do you think about it? Nice, isn't it? Freedom! Oof. I enjoy it so much. Sorry about this spontaneous. How I have to say, rush from inside. But it is such a pleasure, pleasure. As I said, when you have something like this, it's paid for everything, for all the efforts, all the problems, all the dust, all the mud, all the cold, everything, all the stones, everything. It's very windy, I hope that it will work. Отличная работа. This was great. Now what goes up must go down. it very much let's now jump into the dusty game again and continue my way to Handiga quick shot from this side and then going down and of course going down it's always more spectacular than going up because you see everything in front of you like the road over there This road on right and left side there are many many swamps like this and they are endless and I think that they are habitat for many many small animals many birds also beavers it's, it's very beautiful actually here very beautiful very green only swamps it's very flat Let's stop now in this place to drink tea. Just for tea. Cafe Elga. Ну все, до свидания. Ой. Это был хороший стоп, чтобы иметь 
hot tea in my stomach it is like 10 12 degrees at the moment still all right compared to yesterday and it will be like 15 or 16 later today Rekai Lugi Big River Very big actually What a view man It's 9 o'clock and the trucks already started and the dust of course started When you're in the opposite direction yes, it's not, that, not so bad but when it's in your direction boo, not good at all One more pass covered, now need to go down. Now it's 8 degrees, once I get down it will be again 12, 13, much better. Beautiful views, beautiful! Another one reward for today, even better from here. To fly over these bumps and just avoid obstacles and let the suspension do the job is such a pleasure man, such a pleasure. The springs that I've got work so well, I'm so glad that I, I had it. Fantastic! Brungede! I was worried a little bit about all of these clothes, especially behind me, they were dark. But once I cross the mountain in this side, everything looks promising so no more rain I guess for today but the reason I'm worried so much because if it's rain tomorrow the tomorrow section cannot be done in the rain now or never This was easy. All right, I reach again the famous petrol station in Kubeme. And then the coffee. I hope that there will be someone here to Use the pump. All right. Павел, так себя чувствуешь? Холодно. Обратно к лету, да? Обратно в лет летим. Да. Back to the summer. Yeah. This is the famous Cafe Cuba, where the prices are like four stars hotel, but quality is just terrible. But uh, there are no alternatives here. The rear start to falling apart. Hope that it will last the journey. Готов? From here we have 320 kilometers to Handiga. Okay.
nice view and then the truck ah man two more days two more days I remember this bridge from the last time it has a lot of potholes I remember these mountains and this road on the way up to Magadan but they were only in my mirrors now I have them in front Oi! potholes all right patch of ice 7th of August today it will probably never melt This section I also remember from the last time but now I do it on the other side and again beautiful views and a little bit respectful right here just it's easy to slide if you twist too much <laughs> now more or less looks like Pamir Highway river on the right, bumpy roads, mountains very similar man on this section all applause are going <laughs> to the bike and the suspension I'm just standing on the pegs and holding the handlebar the bike make everything just wonderful wonderful I love it Look the old bridge. This section here is brilliant. I forgot it. I don't know why. Probably it was raining when I was going up. It became 15 degrees. I just changed my gloves. Such a quiet place, man. Just a little wind. Me. A small gravel road. And the bike. And the river over there. So nice, huh? Like this. And this actually is optic cable for internet. If I cut it now, 
many people will be left without internet for the next week or so. <laughs> hey man.